Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in today's session I'm actually going to be focusing on day trading the Forex markets now what I illustrate here what we discuss is actually applicable for all markets so it really doesn't matter if you're trading stocks futures or Forex the setups the strategies the ideas are basically the same but every day I'd receive probably two to five emails from the general public and from members requesting further information about day trading the Forex market now if you're not looking at day trading you can still use the exact same principles as a swing trader or a position trader now if you're new to my videos the reason I talk about here are target $300 a day per contract that's because our end result is we want to walk away with around $200 net per day per contract now if you're trading Forex as we're about to discover that's per standard lot so if we're trading a standard lot so let's get into it first of all there is a risk in trading if you're new to my videos please pause the video and make sure that you do read the risk disclaimer don't trade with the rent money as we say and very quick advertisement if you haven't requested uh, one of my free ebooks the truth about day trading or my training manual please visit my website or down below there is a link below where you can request my free ebooks and last of all please subscribe to my channel and if you're a newer experienced trader you want to know all of my setups everything that I have is over now over 300 videos there's actually over a hundred hours of online training for $197 please visit my website to find out more about exactly what I do and uh, you'll be able to request further information there that's the end of the ad let's now get into this now what I want to say to you is this traders it's no great secret that my preference is now trading the futures markets we're going back 10 years ago I was 110% focused on the Forex markets I now love the futures markets and there's a whole lot of reasons for that and we won't go into it in this video but with that being said the Forex markets is still a real place for that for traders particularly the newer traders or those with a small account so I just want to say that up front now as you watch this video if you're a brand new trader I'm going to give you a ton of ideas you're going to be able to use if you're an experienced trader yes some of what I'm about to cover may be basic but it may also remind you on some of the things you may have forgotten and that's a the, the, the challenge in our information age today it's very very easy to forget some critical information now as we go through this please take notes um, uh, and I want you to be asking how can I use this because just this one idea may change your trading career and really unfortunately so many of us forget that trading is a business it is a career it can set you free financially now if you don't buy my program that's okay because there's going to be a lot of you watch this and don't buy my program but I still want to empower you to treat this as a business because you can make an enormous amount of money as a day or swing trader if you approach it correctly so take notes and for those of you that are not familiar with me you'll see here on the right hand side I have a spiral notebook and for those of you that do know me now know that I've got dozens of those that I've filled out over 25 years as I trade every day I'll put down notes things I notice patterns I have my trading rules and little spiral um, uh, folders here uh, it's neat I keep my trading desk clean this is a business once again if we go back into the um, uh, pilot's office there it's spotless they have printouts of their key things I've got their their flip folders but you don't see a whole lot of crap all over their uh, work areas of course it, it's very very important that we approach this business as true professionals traders now the other thing is this for the newer traders and and perhaps this is even applicable for the traders that are struggling if you're not consistently making money you're doing something wrong so we need to draw a line in the sand we need to restart your career now you only need to master one setup to be a consistently profitable trader once you own that setup you move to another very very important because one of the challenges is this and and let me say this to all traders 
when you start trading Forex there's many people will start off trading maybe a micro account they put a hundred or two hundred in their account they'll think okay let's give this a go they and you know it's not a lot of money it might be five hundred a thousand whatever it is oh we'll, we'll, we'll gamble with this trade but what you're actually doing is setting yourself up for failure for psychological damage that you cause yourself by making mistakes by taking foolhardy trades by trying to learn too much at once it's setting you up for disaster there is only one way to learn how to trade whether you're trading Forex futures stocks or even options and that's the right way from day one so you do that by mastering a couple of setups and you move on from there but very very important irrespective of the size of your account that you treat this seriously for an example just quickly going back to this slide here if you're in the simulator and you think oh what the heck I'll, I'll take this risk I'll, I'll land the aircraft and we'll see if I crash and burn what the heck let's have a bit of fun they will sack you on the spot they want perfect landings basically every time it's very very important traders that we start to approach trading with that now until you are consistently profitable and this is lesson number one I want you to trade with the trend trading is really easy buy the dips sell the rallies the trend is my friend I know it may be a bit of a cliche but it's true very very important because for some reason we have this thing as traders as human beings we want to be able to sell the highs and buy the lows right we're always trying to pick tops and bottoms but they're also one of the most dangerous areas to trade because we know that probably about 80 percent of the time the trend will continue and we get hit with that time and time again so until you're consistently profitable traders buy the dips sell the rallies trade with the overall trend very very important now I just want to go into this and I should have perhaps said uh, traders this some um, recording is, is raw real direct it's not a, not being edited and I've put together a whole lot of slides here to answer a lot of questions that I've received now for my futures traders you'll know that I refer to this chart regularly and this chart points out the power of earning $200 a day so if you're trading one contract where if you're a futures traders I re a futures trader I recommend you allow $5,000 per contract 200 a day and as you double your account size you then start trading an additional contract and we can see here at the end of week 25 if you to follow this at a consistent $200 a day hence go back to the first slide you want to target 300 so at the end of a week hopefully you're netting your 200 a day you can see here you're up to earning $50,000 a week now let me just put say something here this looks great on paper there's a very very big difference traders between being an institutional trader when you're trading someone else's money compared to when you start trading your own money okay you you tend to find that the myth of a million dollar trader there's very few traders earning multi-millions a year out of their own account all right psychologically it gets most traders and particularly the older you get some of the uh, young bucks <laughs> or even the young women that are watching you say yeah I'll go for that okay you've got time on your side you can do that but it gets harder when you're starting to put more and more money but the point I wanted to on online I should say but what I do want to say here is this traders is that an advantage you've got with Forex and this is just a compounding chart that I found that just going through some things I wanted to discuss I won't go fully into this but the key point I wanted to bring up is that you can start off by trading mini lots which is a huge advantage that you have as a Forex trader now thanks to the regulators Forex trading of course has become a lot fairer and a lot more honest and we saw up till about three or four years ago a huge huge amount of skullduggery was going on with the brokers now in today's market it's absolutely critical that you only go with a regulated broker preferably one out of either uh, the USA Australia or uh, the UK the three most regulated markets in the world 
so it's very very important that you trade with a regulated broker out of in my opinion out of one of those three countries but you can start off with as little as well you can actually start off if you're trading a micro account with a lot less but you know you can you can break or chunk it down and that's one advantage that you have over the futures market where I say to a trader you need at least five thousand dollars to trade futures all right you might get away with four thousand and it comes down to risk by the way and let me quickly explain this if you're trading futures my average stop loss per contract is eighty dollars I always say I also say to traders um, your maximum risk per contract you trade should be two percent so what's two percent of four thousand dollars that's eighty dollars so it's very very important you stay within those parameters now what you have as an advantage in trading the Forex market uh, and by the way experienced traders stay with me we'll get to some juicy stuff in a moment but a standard lot you would is at ten dollars a tick now if you're trading a standard lot and your average stop loss is say um, let's just say 18 pips well that's hundred and eighty dollars so you sort of need around the mark of around eight to ten thousand dollars per contract per standard lot that you trade but of course you've got the advantages you can trade multiple mini lots and you, there's some really good calculators out there that you can calculate based upon your account size how many mini lots you should be trading based upon say a 0.5 a 1% one and a half or a 2% risk parameter so this is a, a big advantage that you have in trading in learning how to trade now another consideration traders is this that you may say I only have let's just say a thousand dollars as I mentioned earlier it's absolutely critical you trade that as if it's one hundred thousand dollars okay you've got to master the art of trading by developing the right habits from day one do not underestimate the psychological damage that is caused by punting by giving it a go it's, it's incredible the, the amount of traders I deal with that are suffering from that so very very important but you can build from there and then you can go to the futures market in the future so start maybe with Forex and eventually go to futures now a couple of key things here we've got of course is slippage now in trading Forex we have to be very very careful of fast moving markets very very careful and that's I suppose one of the disadvantages that we do have with Forex over futures now with futures it trades for futures markets if you look gold uh, the, the black gold which is oil uh, the ES the NQ the YM uh, gold itself yellow metal most of those markets now trade 23 hours a day and you've got some even during the after hours market what we call the Globex market you've got some really good trends form in that time period so there's some good opportunities where with the Forex market you are limited now uh, you've really got the the best hours of course are around the London open so for London trading hours are your number one your highest volume then we have the New York so uh, session so you'll see nowadays particularly I see a lot of very quiet times on Forex something to be really aware of and of course in very fast moving markets you're going to see some very so a lot of slippage and also you'll see that the market makers or some brokers will really get you in what we call the spread that is the commission that you pay will be a lot higher and this is something which is a big difference between Forex and I know I have this on a slide in a moment but I'll quickly mention it here what we've discovered is if, if you're a day trader trading the Forex market the commissions average about 20% of your gross revenues where if you're trading futures the futures markets it's about 4% because if you're trading uh, let's just say uh, Forex on a standard lot and your average spread overall is two pips that includes commission and the spread that's twenty dollars if you're trading a futures contract it's typically say the commissions are around the four dollars to four dollar fifty mark 
if you're a scalper if you're a day trader that can make a massive difference and all of a sudden if you start paying say three pips in the spread in a fast-moving market that is $30 in commissions that you're paying something that you really need to consider now the next thing that we really need to consider is our major currency pairs now most members that are watching this video or those that have watched a lot of my videos and I think I've got for the general public over 200 videos on YouTube now for my members I've got over 300 members only videos is this that if you're a futures trader you may be able to trade two or three markets if say you're trading what we call the 34b but generally speaking on most futures markets if you're trading three or four setups I recommend that you focus on just one market alone because generally speaking on the futures markets if you're day trading there's enough trades to keep you busy however with Forex because you're waiting for the specific setups you may be able to trade two three or maybe four markets if you'll say trading the 34 B maybe even up to six so you want to really get to know your major currency pairs because what you're looking for when you trade the futures market Forex or stocks we're after daily trading volume we want to see a good volume good turnover of that particular market but we are also after a good what we call trading range and it's very very important that we understand and we learn what the ranges are now with some of these where you get a really high trading range a very large range uh, they can be extremely volatile so you want a good trading range but it's got to be what I call tradable you don't want to be with a market that it's untradable because it moves that fast or it spikes or it gaps up so you know if you look at some of them like the Aussie USD is a great market uh, if you look at the euro USD yes it may have a lower volatility however it's very very tradable and as I mentioned earlier you can probably trade a number of those now if you're trading a standard lot remember my goal for you is $200 a day net net after all costs at the end of a week we're after a good 20 pips per day and what we can see down here is the average trading uh, volatility per day and you can see here if you catch just a few of these waves on some of these markets you've well and truly got 20 40 50 pip moves at a time that is where we make our money and as you then start to discuss and learn targets the earlier you get into a trade the more likely you are to pick up your 10 20 30 pips in a trade at a time now the next tip I want to give you traders it's absolutely critical and of course this is old stuff to the experienced traders but for the uh, newer traders you must know when you've got what we call red flag news announcements now for Forex traders I really recommend that you uh, every day not recommend I basically tell you you must look up Forex factory and know when you've got your red flag news announcements coming out we won't go too much into uh, well we won't go into red flags or discussing red flags right now but it's absolutely critical you know when you've got major news announcements because you don't want to be in the market now I know that we do have news traders that some will trade the breakouts but overall until you're extremely profitable I recommend to all traders that you stay right away from trading news breakouts until you really know your stuff I'm yet to know or yet to meet very many I know a couple but there's very few highly successful news traders out there be very very careful of the EAs and some of the things that are sold out there um, on trading these breakouts so uh, so here's, here's something that's really important here now most of you have probably heard of Mark Douglas now the great Mark Douglas he passed away unfortunately a couple of years ago um, you must read his book go he's got trading in the zone and the disciplined trader he, he was the number one trading coach but what he says here is this the best traders have developed an edge and more importantly they trust their edge and that really gets down to until you're consistently profitable focus on only a couple of setups until you master those now I want to talk to you about a couple of setups here that anyone can learn from day one 
now first of all the market has what I call a memory it doesn't matter whether you're trading stocks futures or Forex the market has a memory and the, the memory is in forms of patterns and patterns repeat themselves each and every day and in actual fact Mark Douglas in his book the disciplined trader says this if you want to be truly successful as a trader master pattern trading learn a pattern that repeats itself consistently in the market and as you master that pattern increase the number of patterns that you're learning and that's absolutely critical now when it comes to trading strategies and learning uh, you, the patterns can um, I love this statement it's so true complexity is your enemy any fool can make something complicated it's hard to keep things simple Richard Branson said that I know he's not a trader but it's so true when I look at charts so many charts look like this There's indicators everywhere there's so many things that traders rely on and the more things that you need to analyze the more likely you are to make mistakes very very important traders that you don't need a ton of things on your charts but one thing that I do want to teach you very quickly and give you a very quick lesson on is fractals so when it comes to Forex trading one of the most important things you can learn is what a fractal is and how to use fractals now there's a ton of stuff on YouTube in the day traders fast track program uh, I talk a lot about fractal trading now very very basic your common fractal is uh, you take a, a point so basically we'd call this a swing high you've got two candles on either side this is a swing high if you were to reverse it it would be a swing low so let's just say here you had this point one two and one two you would have a fractal point and this is an un, un orthodox fractal whereby they're not exactly um, in order the same as what we've got over here so I really recommend traders you master fractals and here we've got and the reason being I should say is that fractals we use for drawing trend lines what we want to do is to turn our trading into rules based when you have a rules based trading strategy it helps remove a lot of the emotion it just makes traders a uh, trading that much easier so this will be a fractal point that would be a fractal point and that's where our trend line goes so when we start to use fractals an actual fact Tom DeMarc I'm just trying to think the name of his book I've just got a, uh, a mind blank uh, that's right it's called the new science of technical analysis he talks about the DeMarc trend lines and when you study his book the new science of technical analysis you'll see he's really using fractal points for his trend lines and he's very very famous when when it comes to institutional trading now that leads us into then some of the patterns that are extremely successful uh, for not only trading Forex but for trading the futures markets that is when we've got our tri uh, triangles and wedges when you start to use fractal trend lines that is here's a fractal point here's another one for drawing those uh, it just makes trading that much easier now why do we want to learn and master these types of patterns and that's what they are they're patterns because what's actually happening traders when you start to see here that price is coming in the price it's like a spring you know that the market is going to break out it doesn't always break out to the long side sometimes it'll break out to the short side but when you start to draw trend lines in at these points here you know with certainty that the market is going to spring out in one direction or another they're very very easy to recognize so with a rising wedge or a falling wedge now for those of you that are really interested in this if you look up um, uh, the wolf wave by Bill Wolf so you've got the wolf wave works on rising and falling wedges and for an example where you get a breakout to the long side here you'll generally find you have a good extended move so you can trade what we call measured moves now once you draw up 
100 or 200 rising or falling wedges or triangles you really start to see these patterns that appear in the markets each and every day and it makes a, a massive difference such as here we've got a rising wedge here now you know with absolute certain actually let me take that back absolute certainty that's not quite true but with a high probability of certainty that we're going to get a breakout to the short side and what bill would show you is that there's a way of drawing a trend line here showing there's a high probability that you'll hit an area down below this wedge likewise you've got flagpoles pennants these are all things by the way you don't need to buy expensive indicators uh, and traders as most of you are aware of I don't sell indicators that is I give away indicators uh, to members when they join for ninja trader for trade station for MT4 um, look all indicators virtually every indicator is a derivative of price they will plot after the fact however indicators can still be a great tool but a lot of some of your very best tools are things like trend lines that are free you don't need them now another thing I want to mention here just on trend lines is this that when we've got a good I call it a 45 degree filter when we can see we've got a nice solid trend line here please be very very cautious here of counter trend trading absolutely critical that you're very cautious on your counter trend trading at this stage I right, just remember that the steeper the trend line the more cautious you need to be when it comes to counter trend trading okay so the next thing I want to briefly talk about is the types of charts to use and some of the key it really comes down to the trading platforms that you also trade with uh, most Forex brokers will allow you to use the MT4 or MT5 trading platform free now if you say go and buy ninja trader which is a fantastic charting platform probably well it is I believe the most advanced in the world today um, in that particular case it's going to cost you around if you purchase it around a thousand dollars or you can go and lease trade station which uh, you can open up a trade station account with a minimum of five thousand dollars or you can just lease the platform which is around I think it's around two hundred dollars a month to lease that platform now by the way uh, if you're considering opening an account with trade station you can no longer trade Forex through them futures option stocks but no longer Forex but you can still use their platform for charting and just execute the trades on the platform provided by your Forex broker uh, now you'll see on all of my videos and we're going to look at very shortly you will quickly look at just a couple of charts uh, I use the TradeStation platform now the point is there with MT4 uh, I'm led to believe and my understanding is that of course you've got your time base but that doesn't have tick volume uh, and with that I'll just mention something there in a moment Renko or range so for tick Renko and range you need to buy what we call a plug-in now a plugin is provided by a third-party vendor and it will allow you to display tick range or Renko and these plugins are around the $50 mark well worth buying now just on volume you cannot display volume charts with Forex unless you're trading the currency futures markets now if you're trading the currency futures markets we'll very quickly look at a chart in a moment for that you can display volume because it's a futures contract but you can't trade or display volume charts uh, if you're trading the straight spot Forex market so very quickly my preference is either range or Renko I love range or Renko for the Forex markets but looking at this here we'll just quickly go to a couple of charts here and I'll just point out some some key points now if you're using a time-based chart if you are a swing trader um, in that particular case you're going to be trading I recommend time-based charts every day of the week so if you're trading Forex one hour four hourly eight hourly etc so but a lot of action can happen in a four-hour candle or even a five-minute candle and that's why I prefer to be using some of the other types of charts now a tick chart counts down a number of 
predetermined transactions before forming a new candle so for those that trade the futures markets with me you'll know that I love uh, say a 233 tick chart so I love uh, a 550 on the ES so I find that uh, a tick based chart is just great for the futures markets and even for the Forex market if you're a day trader now probably up till recently my favorite type of chart for the Forex market was a range that is I love a four to a seven range chart on the Forex markets now that's now been overtaken by a Renko chart which we'll discuss in a moment but as a reminder as I tend to find probably a good 90% of Forex traders use MT4 now we're seeing more and more go to MT5 uh, that you'll need to buy the plugin okay you'll need to buy the plugin to allow you to display the range charts but well worth the $50 investment and a little bit like Renko a range chart removes the noise from the market now my favorite now try chart and this is for both futures and Forex is a Renko chart All right now Renko chart will create it's totally different similar to a range but still very very different it will create fewer charts now what I love about the newer Renko and it's not here is it'll display and actually I think I've got it on a slide in a moment it will display the tails which is very very important let's just have a look at that um, look because Renko charts and just to quickly read this out have a strict guidelines as when Renko's it'll be plotted on the chart minor price movements are ignored what it really does trade is it smooths the chart out now very very important I've got to say this traders if you're already successfully trading with a tick chart or a range chart stay with it or if you're considering a Renko and you've been using uh, say uh, range or even a time-based chart up to now have two charts side by side if something's already working for you don't jump onto a Renko okay because it plots very very differently and one of the disadvantages with Renko it can move sometimes very very quickly All right now for an example here on the left here we've got a time-based chart it's very easy for a time-based chart you've got your countdown uh, timer so therefore if you're working on a time-based chart it's very easy to run downstairs go and grab a coffee come back knowing when the candles going to close you don't have that luxury uh, with the Renko now there are counters that you can now get I don't have it on TradeStation unfortunately but the, the key point here is look how smooth the Renko chart is the five pip Renko in comparison to the five minute sorry the um, yeah five minute um, uh, time based chart so just look how jagged that is look how smooth this is however there is still some uh, what's what what's the word for it some challenges in trading until you get used to it so you, you might just want to really follow them but the bottom line is is this I believe that Renko charts are making a massive positive impact for those traders that are now mastering how to trade using Renko now once again with the MT4 platform you will need to buy the uh, the plugin for it now just getting uh, I've already mentioned this here now another thing I want to mention is that in the day traders fast track program we teach I teach a whole lot of different strategies but what I want to mention here is just while I look at this here is counter trend strategies I've got the uh, what have we got here we've got the t19 we've got the t20 in a way is a counter trend strategy you've got your 2ds and your 1ds traders please please before you consider counter trend trading master trading with the trend that's very very important but the other important factor one I'd bring up here is the EC and the AC and it's very important traders with your trading futures Forex or stocks now more than ever I'm really recommending that you have what we call your entry chart and your anchor chart now you're always trading using your entry chart in the direction of the trend on your anchor chart very very 
important that you do. Um, we'll look at a chart in a moment to look at that so before we go to the charts just a couple of quick things I want to get across here consider the best times to trade this is where you may want to uh, pause this video after uh, you've watched this and just jot these down best times to trade and of course you've got the London open the New York open and in a way that is just one of the disadvantages you've got with Forex you'll get a lot of very quiet times yes you've got the Asian session you can get some moves uh, but you just want to really be aware of that red flag news announcements the best in my opinion for Forex market is forexfactory.com if you're a futures trader I like to look at both Forex factory and O'Connor day are my uh, preferred um, uh, news sites the type of chart that you use if you're a brand new trader I'd strongly consider that you consider range and Renko okay I'm really finding that a lot of traders now are really falling in love particularly with the Renko charts uh, for time frames just remember that the lower the time frame the more noise you get on your chart but if you want to today trade I'm tending to find that particularly with range charts or Renko you're looking at a three pip to four pip time frame you can as I mentioned uh, consider uh, multiple markets with the Forex market that is because you'll get a lot of quiet time so you may be looking at that box breakouts I love the box breakouts and we'll look at that in a moment I just want to show you an example of that um, traders a lot of traders get really worried or concerned when they have a sideways market however box breakouts can be a great way that is when you see a market that's consolidating uh, start rubbing your hands together because you know what's going to come up is usually a really good move so just you really want to start to mark those up fractal trend lines get in the habit of marking those up uh, and just very quickly I'll just show you this slide here some of you are aware of some of the work I did back in the uh, early 2000s on trading trend lines on the Forex market now this is the euro dollar using a seven range very very successful strategy hugely successful using fractal points for my trend lines and trading the breaks we had a break good for 20 pips a break here good for 20 a break here good for 20 uh, here we had a loss of four then we had 20 um, but in good markets where you've got a good move some some that is some good volatility fractal trend line breaks work an absolute treat they work really well the other point there is is with the broker and I may not have mentioned this uh, earlier in the video that is you've got two types of brokers now you've got what those with a dealing desk now a dealing desk broker is on the other side of the trade they know that the majority of traders are going to lose money if if you like in some ways they want you to lose money all right because they know by you losing money they're going to make money but then you got your STP brokers your straight through processing they want you to make money they want to keep you in because they're earning uh, a strict spread but that's it they're not on the other side of the trade now by the way if you're trading a micro account or even a mini almost all brokers are on the other side because um, uh, they need to put together all of those trades and I've actually I've look I'm getting side I won't go down that road and explain all of that but most brokers have what we call an a desk and a uh, or an a book and a B book and so with one of those books I carry all the little micro accounts it's not worth them putting directly in to the, the banks but that's another story for another time um, now not only volume do you want but you want tradable volatility trends you want to go back and study the market and that's the other thing traders you need to become what I call a student of the market you need to also become a student of the market you're trading you want to make sure that the volatility uh, is what we call tradable you can sometimes look back and see wow there's some incredible volatility incredible trends but some markets are almost not possible to trade because they move that quickly get in the habit of trading using your anchor chart trading in the direction of your anchor chart you want to see a pullback on your entry chart then a trend continuation in the direction of the AC and of course your stops and targets you've got to learn those and we're sort of running out of time so I won't go into those today
um, and just the other thing I wanted to bring up is what about the euro currency futures markets now you can trade the euro currencies now just taking back a few Fridays ago for an example on the euro dollar there were 163,000 contracts traded that day on the yen 100 and sorry 213,000 now using an average stop loss here of $70 still you still really need around the $3,000 mark now even though you can look at a lot of Forex brokers sorry a lot of futures brokers my apologies futures brokers they will tell you look you can open up an account still and trade the uh, currency futures with a lot less than 3000 but you still got to remember what is your average stop loss going to be because remember you want to stay within and preferably lower than what we call the 2% rule and of course if you trade the currency futures you can trade the uh, uh, volume base charts okay because here with those there, there are futures contracts so you do have volume charts available now what I do want to do quickly traders is just go to the charts here for you and just show you a couple of things on the charts now this is I'm going to keep this uh, very very quick because we're already up to 40 minutes here but this is what I mean about a box breakout now on the by the way on the right hand side here and we do have uh, a tick but this is an 89 tick chart so when I click here this is this spot right here so we've got here a, uh, a USD a four range Renko now notice here this is a box breakout now notice here we've starting we've got a number of notice here the EMAs here are horizontal so number one one of the rules with a box breakout notice how we've got our EMAs are sideways so these are also fractal points so I draw a trend line to the right and one down here to the right and this is forming a box notice here now my EMAs are starting to what we call separate and then I get my box breakout traders uh, once again I'm just showing you this very very quickly but get in the habit of drawing in these consolidation zones and that's really what this is this is a consolidation zone they're very very profitable to trade another great thing you'll see and this is by the way this is the Australian dollar USD you'll start to see what we call angulation angulation is when you see price action banking away rather rapidly from the major EMAs they're what I call a fanning of the EMAs or angulation when you get this happening uh, this is where you'll quite often see and this is a, a pivot point you'll get a lot of pivot bounces you'll get a lot of what we call double tops a t7 this is a great t7 and you'll get some great counter trend moves will form you want to really start to master these when you start to see a fanning of the EMAs now like any profession traders what you've got to do is be willing to be patient and to spend screen time and start to mark these up but patience is the big thing with Forex unlike for uh, say futures trading we might get and see 10 or 15 of these types of moves over a two hour or three hour period during the peak times uh, where well you won't get as many when you're trading the Forex market now this is another thing we're looking at the British pound here once again we're looking at a Renko chart here a four Renko this is on trade station a custom Renko and by the way for my anchor chart I'm using a time frame twice as high what I've got here is we can see prices started to trade down but into a floor pivot and notice here my longer term EMAs are also sideways once again I want to be very very cautious here then all of a sudden we start to see price action starts to what we call fan again we get a great angulation we look over at, at our anchor chart we've got great angulation prices spiked up and we've got a great counter trend move here we've actually got a t10 for our members that are watching this video you can see we've got a great t10 set up and a great t2 you've also got a rule of one likewise here you've got a t20 there and you've also got a rule of one 
here as well the thing you've got to watch though is is into your 200 and traders what is the trend direction of our anchor chart very very important what is happening here and this comes down to in mastering the art of day trading or even swing trading the number one thing that we've got to learn is patience that is we need to learn to focus and what I call and, and this is something which is really difficult as traders and as the human race we're what I call hunters we always want to be out there hunting a trade the best traders sit there and lay in wait you're a sniper you're waiting for the trade to come to you most snipers will sit there for sometimes hours even days and so the very best wait for those and so these can be danger zones when you're seeing you're in between uh, the floor pivot here and you can see the pivot there and your 200 EMA before finally you get a breakout and what have I got if I've got anything here on this one uh, and this is last of all as we finish this video up I just want to show this is a Renko chart here and this is a four period and what was the ah, th okay this is a currency futures here so we're looking at the Australian dollar currency futures and on the right hand side we've got a Renko on the spot Forex now we can see here we've had a bounce here and this is the exact same move here so it's bounced a little earlier so it's very very similar in nature but the major advantage if you like to trade the futures markets is your commissions where here you may be paying a two to three pip spread which can be 20 to 30 dollars even though some brokers will say it's commission free that's not true the spread is a commission over here on the left you're paying say around four dollars four dollars fifty on the right you may be paying twenty or thirty dollars on a standard lot so just something to be aware of but in closing the the big thing to remember of course is that Forex can be a great market to kick your trading career off if you have maybe only five hundred or thousand dollars and you must treat it professionally that is even if you open an account you start trading using a micro account you've got to assume that it's five thousand or fifty thousand you're trading with traders the markets are going to be here next month uh, six months time is next year so so what if it takes you three months or six months to build your account to five to ten thousand dollars or even 12 months give yourself time but you can master the art of day trading or even swing trading over a period of time so in closing traders uh, please subscribe to my channel visit my website to find out exactly what you get in the day traders fast track program it is the world's most comprehensive program that you'll find so traders uh, and once again there is no upsell there's nothing else to buy so thank you for watching and I'll see you or you'll hear from me on my next video thank you traders